Today, the world knows Detroit as the Motor City, the town that put the world on wheels, and the headquarters of three of the world's great automakers. But back in 1896, when Charles Brady King drove the first automobile seen on the streets of Detroit, motoring was just a hobby. Hi there. Like many of you, I love cars. And I'm lucky enough to get to drive some gray ones, both on the screen and as a driver for Ford's racing team. Although there are many kinds of cars and trucks in the world today, they were all created through a very complex process of design and manufacturing that's been evolving since before this guy was built. In this program, we're going to show you that remarkable process, from first concept to final product. In the early days of motoring, cars were little more than expensive toys for people who liked to tinker with exotic machinery. Most people ignored these noisy, smelly, horseless carriages, except to stare with awe or disgust. But several visionaries, including Henry Ford, who built his first car, the Quadricycle, in 1896, saw that this new contraption, the motor car, had the potential to change the world. This is Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. And that is another car from 1896, a Duryea motor wagon. Now, we think of 1896 as the first year of the American auto industry because that year, two brothers from Massachusetts, Frank and Charles Duryea, produced 13 copies of this car as products for sale. Now, that may not seem like much compared to the tens of millions of cars per year produced by today's automakers, but it marks a beginning because it was the first time multiple cars were built from a single design. Before that, every automobile was a custom job. In 1903, Henry Ford joined the growing ranks of auto manufacturers. His company built this car, the original Model A. Today, Ford and many other automakers are large corporations, employing millions of people in facilities around the world. But when Ford started producing these cars, all he needed was a little money, a small staff, and a building, this former wagon factory. Back in 1903, cars were basically carriages with engines and transmissions attached. A car maker's major challenge was to design a practical vehicle, one that wouldn't break down too often. From 1903 to 1908, Henry Ford and his staff went through 19 designs, models A through S trying to achieve that goal before coming up with the Model T, a car that was durable reliable enough for daily use, and most importantly, inexpensive enough for many people to afford. Ford built Model Ts for 19 years, producing more than 15 million. They were used for everything, hauling, travel, commuting, by individuals and large families alike. For almost two decades, one vehicle did it all. Today, car makers operate in a very different world where people look for vehicles tailored to their particular needs. Durability and reliability are still important, but now many other factors influence a vehicle's design. In car and truck production today, the first people to explore these factors are a group of long-range planners. They put together ideas for new vehicles five or more years in advance. In order to say what we need in those products five years down the line, we can't look at today's vehicles. We need to look at what will be in tomorrow's vehicles. Long-range planners look at current sales trends, demographic studies of how people are using their vehicles, and information about what their competition might be planning. Then they put all this together in trying to figure out what people will want from future vehicles. 